Solar bear! Solar bear! Arr. Well, good morning, everyone. Wachuca guy here. And it is December 11th. And it's about 11.40 in the morning. And this is a solar bear video. Our third one in the series. And today we're going to go and take a solar bear video for the letter L in solar bear. We were gonna go and had a different spot picked out, but I just happened to see a new road with a new street sign a couple of days ago, and I thought, well, I'll do this one. So that's where we're heading right now. Anyway, it's another nice day out. Temperature's about 68 degrees. This is going to be just a short ride of four or five miles to pick up this next sign. This next solar bear street sign. Okay, we're going to be making a turn right up here. We're within a mile of our goal of our L street sign. Just go up here just a little ways. We'll pull in here and get turned around and get in position. Okay, here we are coming up to the sign. And if you can see it there, South Lizard Trail. Well, we can't really go around the sign too easily because there's a fence there, but we'll go around the bike. Okay, so this is for the letter L in Solar Bear Lizard Trail. So here we go. Solar Bear. Solar Bear. Solar Bear. Solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, and solar bear. I think I'll do one more just in case. I think that was three. Solar bear, solar bear, solar bear. Okay, there's our L for solar bear. South Lizard Trail. Okay, we got our next letter in the series for the Solar Bear Challenge. The letter L. And I think now we're going to head home, put together some kind of a video. And anyway, speaking of lizards, uh, we have a pretty good range of kinds of lizards here in the area, from some small ones to the largest lizard in North America. And we've got, oh, tree lizards. Horned lizards, or some people refer to them as horny toads. And we also have, which a lot of people have heard of, or maybe seen in the movies or something, but we also have the largest 
Well, it's two distinctions, really. It's the largest North American lizard, and it is one of only a few of the only venomous lizards in the world, and that is the Gila Monster. Gila Monsters are not all that uncommon. Actually, there's at least one that's uh, right around my property where I live. I've never actually seen it yet, but uh, my neighbors have seen it uh, twice. Uh, it could have been the same one, or actually it could have been two different ones. The last time they saw it was this last April in the daytime. So they're not too uncommon, but a lot of people don't see them because they're rather secretive and they spend uh, maybe 70% of their lives underground. And uh, they're not particularly dangerous. No one has actually ever died from a Gila monster bite. But I have been told that they're, when they bite, they, they basically hang on. And uh, they're a real primitive lizard. There's a few other species in Mexico known as beaded lizards. They can get up to oh, three and a half feet in length. The ones that we have here, oh, 20, 22 inches is a good average size for an adult. But uh, they have a very primitive uh, way of envenomation. They almost have, that's probably one reason they hang on. They, they chew and the venom by capillary action flows into the wound. And uh, their principal foods are bird eggs, lots of quail eggs, small mammals, baby rabbits, anything they can grab and hang on to and swallow whole. So it's thought that their venom is not so much for killing their prey, but it's probably more for defense uh, because it is a very painful bite. So some potential predator or something like that were to try to tackle one of these and get bitten, uh, it would be very painful and the uh, predator would probably not die from it, but it would probably remember that uh, messing with one of those and if you get bitten uh, it can be pretty painful. So it's probably more of a defensive venom. They certainly don't need, need it to subdue their prey. So that's our video for today. Our solar bear video anyway. So this is Wachuka Guy saying goodbye for now and we'll see you on the next vlog.